If a certain animated cartoon consists of a total of 17,280 frames on film, how many minutes will it take to run the cartoon? So if we had any way of translating from frames to some kind of unit of time, we'd be able to answer the question. Statement number one tells us that the cartoon runs without interruptions at a rate of 24 frames per second. Well, bingo, right there, what we have is a ratio that would allow us to calculate the ratio of frames to time. So again, we don't have to solve this ratio because this is data sufficiency. All we have to see is that we could solve for it. And so this statement is sufficient. It would allow us to solve for the time. Now forget about statement number one. Statement number two is a very different kind of information. The time it takes, it takes six times longer to run the cartoon as it takes to rewind the film. And it takes a total of 14 minutes to do both. Well, here we're, in, we're introducing this new concept about rewinding. But let's think about this. Let's say that X is the time to rewind. Well, then according to this, six times that 6x is the time to run the film. And then the, both of these together, x plus 6x, have to add up to 14. So that means we could solve for x, which means we could solve for 6x, which is the time to run the film. So this new information also allows us to run, to solve for how many minutes it takes to run the cartoon. So statement number two is sufficient as well. One is sufficient, two is sufficient, answer choice D.